I see this in just like talking to you, knowing you, reading um, your posts and newsletters, that this isn't, you're not a, let me attack so that I get more clicks and views and I have this contrarian view and uh, there's an audience for that. I, I wrote in my notes as you were talking the word concerned and then I underlined it a couple times because you mentioned it a couple times. And so like your perspective isn't that like shock and awe, let me draw attention to myself. It is, it, and I very much believe it, a, a core concern that you have for the profession. And I think that's where your perspective comes from. And so my question to you is, what is the, what's the one thing that we should almost focus on? Or what's the one thing that you hope that they get right in making these changes? Okay, the one thing that I hope that they get right is the purpose statement. Unequivocally, I, I, am, an, I am strongly against the current purpose statement. In his time, internal audit became customer centric. It, it's time internal audit became customer demand driven, which means as long as the profession doesn't look like its purpose really supports the primary needs of its customers. And it's not obvious right in the purpose statement. I mean, their purpose statement, it does talk about in their purpose statement of providing them with objective assurance and advice, but it doesn't say on what. And it doesn't say why their customers need that. So the reason I've chosen mission critical objective slash risk as the scope of internal audit is that's what boards are legally accountable for in the United States and increasingly around the world. 